Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. In this video, I'm going to discuss elimination half-life, the length of time required for the concentration of a particular drug to decrease to half its starting dose in the body. This is a property of pharmacokinetics, which you can learn more about with my dedicated video, the link for which I will provide below. The principle of half-life dictates that the concentration of a drug in the body will half at regular intervals defined as the drug's half-life. This means after one half-life the concentration will have halved, in two it will have quartered, and in three it will have eighthed, and so on. The equation for calculating the remaining concentration of a drug in a system is the starting dose multiplied by a half to the power of the time elapsed over the drug's half-life. Using this equation, pause this video now and calculate the concentration of a 100 mg drug with a half-life of 2 hours after 8 hours. The answer is 6.25 mg which we can check using the half-life graph. Another one. What is the concentration of a 200 mg drug with a half-life of 5 hours after 24 hours? The answer is 7.2 mg. And now for a final, more difficult one. A 50 mg drug with a 3 hour half-life cannot be taken again until its concentration in the body is lower than 3.5 mg. If a patient takes the drug at 10am, can she take another at 10pm? The dose at 10pm after 12 hours would be 3.13 mg, so the answer is yes, the patient can take another dose at 10pm. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. I'll be back with more pharmacology videos soon.